Hello y'all. So today we have a really cool video. Um, this is the first one that I'm doing like this. Um, I do not have a picture anymore because it's back to the person that I sent it to. I'll explain the situation later. Anyway, so um, I'm in National Art Honor Society. So one of the cool things we get to do every year is we get to, or the seniors get to leave a mark kind of on the school. Um, they could make canvases or they can make cool decorations for the school or you can take a ceiling tile from one of the hallways of our school and you can paint anything you want on it. You can decorate it however you like. Um, I know sometimes people like try to stay t towards a certain theme but it's art. There really is no theme. So not so cool thing seniors in 2020 did not get to um finish their ceiling tiles because everybody had to evacuate the school because of covid and so this year my art teacher asked us to do the ceiling tiles from the seniors last year so like this year i'm only a sophomore but i got to finish some of these ceiling tiles so i'm taking home two this video is the first one, and so I had to bring it back right after I finished it, so that's why I don't have it here, um, but you can see what I did with it. Um, this one only was a little sketched at, at the top. I pretty much filled almost everything in, so thanks for the person who started sketching this, because it was really cool. Let's get into it. So this is what I was given to start, pretty much a clean empty slate with furb drawn and a little bit of Phineas on a canvas. That is all I had, um, a teeny bit of another canvas too, and you can see the green is the tree up there which was half filled in. Um, so now I'm just drawing other characters in that I think would fit. Um, I am putting Phineas on the other side of Ferb and then he's drawing a picture of Ferb. So it's kind of like they're opposites. I'm also going to draw some other characters in Doofensmirch, um, Candace, I love Candace, I am Candace, um, Perry the Platypus, and all other things related to the TV show. If you don't know what Phineas and Ferb is, it was a TV show on Disney or Nickelodeon or one of those, and it was centered in this reality that these two boys do the craziest things, and Candace, the sister, tells on them all the time, and it always starts in their backyard, and they never end up getting in trouble. I guess that's why um, whoever had it before me decided to draw the backyard as the main area, and I completely agree with that because that's pretty much primarily where the TV show takes place under this gigantic tree in their backyard. So let me just real quick draw the rest of those things in. So now I have all the characters that I said originally that were on there and the ones I draw it in, or drew in? Yeah, drew in, <laughs> including the tree and the fence in the back. Now it's time to start painting it all in. Honestly, this was the hardest thing I've ever had to paint on. Um, I cut some of it out just because it was so, so hard to paint on that it actually took me 40 minutes just to do the blue part. Um, it literally felt like the mixture of like styrofoam and like driveway pavement or concrete. Um, so I skipped a lot out of this because uh, I'm pretty sure you don't want me to show you uh, me painting for 40 minutes. That's kind of boring, so I skipped some of that out for you. Just for context, this took up my entire kitchen counter, actually fell off the side of it, um, but just barely fit in my car, and was so heavy, yet the most fragilest, heaviest thing you could think of. So, like, I'm talking, like, you know how glass is super heavy sometimes when you have a big chunk of it, but it's, like, the most breakable thing ever? That's how this was, in the sense of it's breakable, like, styrofoam, 
but it was so gravelly and concrete like I can't even explain to you I just entered a short clip here uh, to show you how long it took to mix these colors I don't know why I'm a great blender except for some reason it took me for Ever, probably 20 minutes to try to make the color just to fill in one tiny spot because you can see it's it kind of has these like little holes in it and with the gravelly texture not all of it got filled in and I unfortunately threw out the paint so I had to mix it all over again and that process probably took me an hour this is the final product of just the sky and the grass I wish I did put a little bit more in the sky, maybe the house behind it, maybe the clouds, maybe something, but I had to return it and this is all I could get done in this short period of time. Number one, I got brown paint on my shirt. Number two, I'm doing the brown paint for the fence line. Um, in terms of everything else, just the characters are left after this fence line, but I wanted to get the fence done first because I do have characters that go up over top of the fence. So of course, if the fence is the background, I have to do that first. Therefore, now I have the fence done. I also made it just a little bit lighter and did the skin color of all the characters. And now it's time to go in with some color to do their outfits, the rest of the canvases, um, their hair, their facial features, uh, a little bit of texturing, stuff like that. Um, things just that go over top and then have got to do last. We have done the background, the middle ground, and now it's time to do the foreground. So as you can see, I've added color. I've done most of their clothing. I'm really just going color by color to try to get it all done instead of mixing colors, letting them sit there and dry out and then having to remix them. I'm going to have to do multiple coats and uh, I have broken several brushes trying to paint this and there are smeared spots that I will have to go over last last before I turn it back in. The reason I was using a sponge brush before is because so many broke that I just went straight to a sponge brush. Um, now I have the outlines, the blacks, um, almost all the colors done. Uh, eyes, facial features, everything's outlined in black too that I wanted to outline. Um, that's just a task, task that everybody hates doing, so I just had to get that out of the way. So now here is the last bit of color. Everything is on there. The only thing I need to touch up is some of the texturing on the fence and then obviously the paint splashes. But other than that, everything is done and I'm going to sign this and hand it back in. This was definitely a very risky and different and weird experience for me, but I really hope you liked it. So I hope you enjoyed this video of me painting the characters Phineas and Ferb doing a little art class thing on a ceiling tile for my school and hopefully maybe I'll get a picture of it in the school that I can show off one day but for now that's a ceiling tile and I'm really proud of how it came out because I've never worked with something so big before I swear it would have taken up this whole entire couch it was huge but there is a part two there is a second ceiling tile so stay tuned for that video bye y'all <laughs>